Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. In today's video I am continuing with my winter nail polish rack. This is also part of a collaboration so make sure to check the list down below for all of the other participants and their channels. Also make sure to check out my previous winter rack videos because I've got a lot of them. <laughs> this particular one is going to be focusing on OPIs and we've got 15 polishes to look at. So let's go ahead and start with this one up here. This is an OPI topper called Butterfly Me to the Moon. I have worn this previously and I thought it was a really fun topper. This nail swatch is going to show it half over a bare nail swatch and half over a, I think I painted it over black. It adds a lot of pink shimmer so it's actually kind of hard to tell but I think I painted it over black. And as you can see, it's got a bunch of different sparkles in it. It's got shimmer. Then it has these metallic blue glitters in a bunch of different sizes. It's really beautiful and glimmering. It reminds me of the snow. I think you could wear this any time of year really but I think that because it is a beautiful metallic blue in that glitter I think that this would be very beautiful in some winter manis so I'm excited to try this over a lot of different colors I actually was thinking about wearing it over this purple one here to add a little bit more uh, metallic sparkle this one is going to dry in a texture but we'll look at that one in a minute so this first one again was a butterfly me to the moon Next up is a cream. This one is called Susie Without a Petal. I thought that this one would be a really beautiful cream for the winter season. It is a light, very white based blue. Here it is in two coats. As you can see, this would also make a beautiful pastel polish for spring, but because of its very light, kind of cool toned color to it. I think it looks really beautiful for the winter as well. This is another polish that I would be using in layering manis or possibly as just a cream accent nail, but I thought it was a beautiful color. Really like this one and I have not worn this one yet, so I'm excited to try it this season. And that again was Susie without a paddle. Next, we're sticking with the blues. <laughs> this is Dining Al Frisco, and this is again a beautiful winter blue. This one is really interesting. If you look up close at it, it's got these little speckles of a different shade of blue and a little bit of shimmer going on as well. And here's what this one looks like in two coats. Again, I just think the shade of blue, because it's kind of dusty, is just perfect for winter. It's got that shimmering gleam to it. I don't honestly see very much of the different things in it that make it special, but I do still like how it looks on the nail. Again, it's a beautiful shade of blue and the different ingredients in it do give it that sort of depth on the nail. This is another one that I think would be really beautiful for some stamping over or a topper. I might try wearing this with maybe one of the white glitter toppers or maybe even with the holographic bar glitters. So I'll be curious to see how I decided to end up wearing this one, but that one was Dining Al Frisco. Next up is another textured polish. If you watched my Zoya video of my winter nail polish rack, I actually picked out quite a few of their pixie dust formulas. This particular one is Tiffany Case by OPI and their textured formula is called Liquid Sand. And this is a beautiful icy blue with a lot of silver gleam in it. Here's how it looks in two coats with that liquid sand texture. I think this one just looks so neat on the nail. I really like how the texture looks. I will definitely be trying it with a peel off base coat <laughs> um, because I do not want to have to scrub this off the nails, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Again, a beautiful shade of blue for winter and how it dries and the way that it's got those sparkling glitters in it. I think is just absolutely gorgeous. So I cannot wait to try this one. My formula is a little bit on the thick side. I did get this in a D stash or a mystery bag or one of those things, um, possibly in a Goodwill mystery bag. And the formula had thickened, so I did have to thin it out a bit, but it seems to be working just fine. So I'm excited to give this one a try. And that again was Tiffany Case. Next up is another one that I'm pretty sure I got in a Goodwill mystery bag. And this one is called On Her Majesty's Secret Service. And I was really excited to try this one. This, I believe, is sort of a harder to find polish and I still have yet to wear it. I think I found this last year or the year before. And it's a really unique shade, especially from mainstream brands. You'll probably see this type of formula quite a lot from indie polishes, but not so much from mainstream brands. 
It is loaded with this glass fleck shimmer in it, in golds and pinks, and the base is this very interesting sort of a denim -y blurple. Here's how it looks in two coats. This one is one that I would say probably could use a third coat, and I think I had uh, intended to put a third coat on <laughs> and went ahead with the top coats before I uh, had given it too much thought, but it is a really beautiful shade. As you can see, it's a little bit gray leaning, a little bit purple leaning, and a little blue leaning. So it's a really interesting color combination, and I thought that it would be really beautiful for winter. So again, that one was on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Next up is one of the DS formulas. This one is DS Charcoal, and this one I decided looks very similar to Peace, Love, and OPI with maybe just a slight difference in either particle size or maybe how it uh, dries, but it is very, very similar. In fact, on camera, I think they look more different than I'm seeing in person, but I thought I'd just mention that just in case you have Peace Love and OPI and you don't have the DS, you could pull out Peace Love and OPI and get a very, very similar look to that. But this one is DS Charcoal, and it is a beautiful sort of gray to green to magenta multi-chrome. You've got sort of a greenish teal in there as well. This is how it looks in two coats with a top coat. If I'm remembering correctly, this one did dry to sort of like a chalkboard finish. But here it is with a top coat, so you can see it nice and glossy. It is a really beautiful sort of charcoaly base, but again, you can see a lot of teal, green, and a little bit of like a magenta as well. And again, if you don't have the DS, you can always wear Peace, Love, and OPI instead. So that was DS Charcoal. Next up is a another blue. <laughs> this time it's a darker shade. This particular one is Nessie Plays Hide and Seek. And I was super excited to get this one. It is a gorgeous blue, almost like a blurbly blue, and it is positively loaded with multiple different kinds of shimmer. You've got sort of a green in there to aqua, and then you've got a larger particle size as well that is sort of a golden green to pink. I don't know if any of that's coming across. There we go. That's that beautiful gloss fleck shimmer. Here it is in two coats. In two coats, it definitely looks more blue in person than that blurply shade that I was seeing in the bottle. But if you wanted to really amp up the purple tone that you're seeing, you could wear it over a uh, darkened purple. I would be very curious to see how that would look. But it is a gorgeous shade, maybe a little bit brighter than some of the other colors that I'm pulling for winter. But I thought that it could still work very nicely because of all of that beautiful shimmer in it. So that again was Nessie Plays Hide and Seek. Next up is a beautiful one coat wonder. This one is You Gotta Get This Blue. And this was one coat, you guys, just one coat with a top coat. It is such a beautiful inky dark blue. It has some shimmer in it as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. I might say if you have really longer nails, you would possibly need a second coat, but I mean, this really surprised me at its opacity. This is another one that I think would look really beautiful with some white or silver glitter over it, so we'll have to see how I decide to wear it, but this is You Gotta Get This Blue. Now moving into our purples, this one is Turn On The Northern Lights. This is another one that had been on my wish list for quite a while. I ended up ordering, I think, from Trans Design or polish pick I don't remember which and I did get the infinity shine because online the price between the infinity shine and the normal nail polish was not that big of a difference so it was worth it to me to get the um, infinite shine version but this is a gorgeous gorgeous purple you have a beautiful shimmer running throughout it that goes from like gold to green to a magenta it's really beautiful. Ooh, there's a good view of the gold that's popping up. You can also see a little bit of orange down there. Really gorgeous. Like I said, I was super, super excited to get this one. Here's how it looks in two coats. This is another one that could possibly benefit from maybe a third or wearing it over either a blurring base coat or a different undie, maybe a solid purple. But it's a really beautiful color. I love all the different shimmers that are going throughout it. And again, another one that I think is just perfect for winter. I think over all of these videos, I'm repeating that statement quite a lot. So 
<laughs> Sorry about the repetition in this, but look at just how gorgeous that is. So that again was turn on the northern lights. And again, just the bottle shot is so beautiful. Next up is another one of their liquid sand formulas. This one is Can't Let Go. This is a beautiful, juicy, kind of like a grapey purple. It has a load of glitter in it and it's a beautiful shade. This one could also look really beautiful in the summertime, but I thought that due to the texture, it could look really beautiful for winter. So there it is in its liquid sand texture. And as you can see, it's got a beautiful array of those larger chunky glitters sparkling away. I really like how this one turned out. In fact, this one almost made it onto my Manny before I even filmed this, but I had decided to go with this uh, thermal by Swamp Gloss instead. The details of that will be down below, but I thought that this one was really beautiful. And again, another one that I'm really excited to try out this winter. Again, I think I may have mentioned it, but if not, I don't expect to be able to wear all of the polishes that are on my rack, but I like the options. <laughs> so this again was Can't Let Go. Now we're moving on to a beautiful berry toned purple. This one is I'm in the moon for love. And this is another one that I thought, well, would be perfect for winter. <laughs> I love these berry tones and I don't think I wear them nearly enough. This is a gorgeous shade. It does have a little bit of like a micro sparkle going throughout it. Maybe a tone on tone shimmer. I'm not sure if that's, yeah, that's sort of coming up on camera. Here's how it looks in two coats very deep and vampy on the nail. This tone is perfect for winter as well as fall. And again, this is another one that was very similar to another one that I almost included. Now, these two aren't as similar to the DS and Peace, Love and OPI, but this is a DS formula in Imperial. And as you can see, they are similar. They're definitely different, um, but I thought that I didn't need both of them <laughs> on my winter nail polish rack. This one I thought was just a little bit more close to what I was looking for in these berry shades because it does have a dusty quality to it. Whereas DS Imperial, if you look at it, has more of a brighter tone to it. Yeah, a bit more of a bright tone, a beautiful, beautiful berry purple though, and a bit of hollow. So again, if you have one of these, both I think would work, but I chose I'm in the moon for love for my winter rack. And again, the comparison was DS Imperial. Next, we're moving into the browns. This one is TZ Does It. This is another one that I got in a Goodwill bag, and I thought that this one was another very special formulation coming out of OPI. I love it when mainstream brands play around with different ingredients and give us really fun finishes in nail polish, and this one is very unique to my collection. It is a beautiful chocolatey brown loaded with a red and golden shimmer and glass fleck in there. Here's how it looks in two coats. I don't really wear browns all that often. Usually when I do, they are a bit on the purple leaning side or on the neutral side, but I thought this color in particular was really nice for the winter season. Chocolate brown, I believe, is one of the colors that I saw trending for 2022 winter colors. So I thought I'd pull out a couple and see if I could get around to trying them on my nails and see how I like them. And I thought that this one was really beautiful. So that was TZ Does It. Next up is a classic. This one is My Private Jet, and I've had this one for quite a while. I don't actually remember where I got it, and I have yet to wear it. So I thought that this would be the perfect season to pull this one out. I've been really enjoying my hollows and my scattered hollows, and this one is, again, sort of in that chocolatey brown or charcoal color family. It sort of depends on what lighting you're seeing it in, um, but it's a really gorgeous color. And again, I thought it was perfect for winter. Here's how it looks in probably two coats. I did do the swatch of this one quite a while ago when I originally got it, but I love the effect of those scattered holographic particles on the nail. It is really gorgeous. And again, I have yet to try it. So I'm excited to see if I like it on my skin tone. So that is my private jet. Next up is another color that I saw on the trends for this winter, and that is Bone. This particular one is My Vampire is Buff, and I thought that this would be a really beautiful palette cleanser to wear in between some of the brighter jewel tones and the glitter bombs. This is it in two coats. Again, I will be curious to see if I like this against my skin tone, but this could look really beautiful uh, as an undie for some beautiful shimmers that I have to give the shimmers an opaque start. 
on your nail. And I have worn colors like this before with like, uh, I think it was a Sally Hansen um, Devil Wears Nada, possibly. And I was really surprised at how I liked it on my skin tone, so I'll be curious to see if I like this one as well. And I think this is another that I got in a Goodwill bag. So that was My Vampire is Buff. And last but not least is this beautiful mauve sort of grayed out mauve shade, and this one is called Color of the Zenshuri. I think this one also might have been a Goodwill bag find, and I thought that this color was absolutely perfect for the winter. Last winter I had a lot of these sort of tones, very neutral, mauve, dusty shades, um, and I didn't really pick too many of these tones this winter, but I wanted to have at least a few, and this is the first one in this color family that has a specialty finish. As you can see, it's sort of got this gleam in it that I think is absolutely gorgeous. Somewhat of a cross between like a pearl finish and a metallic gleam. Here's how it looks in two coats on the nail. It definitely has that pearl finish to it. I think it's just really, really gorgeous. This is another one that I think you could play around with, with some beautiful toppers or some nail art. So I'm not sure how easy this one is to find. It does seem like it is an older bottle, but I think it's a gorgeous color for the winter season. So that again was Color of the Zenshuri. And there you have it. These were the colors that I chose from OPI for my winter nail polish rack. Let me know down below if there are any that you are pulling out from your OPI collection for this winter, or if you have any here that you definitely want to be wearing. Again, make sure to check out the list down below for all of the other participants in the winter collaboration and also hit that little subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in that next video.